Hi guys, Exaltech here. Alright, here are a few CMD commands that you should know to make your PC usage more easier and more protected. So let's get started. So the first command I wanted to show you is the IP configuration command for which in the command prompt window type IP config without any spaces between them and press enter and now you will get the entire IP configuration of your system including the current IP address, the default gateway IP, the current domain and the subnet mask which will help you a lot to resolve all your connectivity problems with your router for example. Alright, once we connect to a Wi-Fi network by entering its password on our device, we need not re-enter the password to reconnect to the same network through the same device as the device itself will remember the network. As the time goes on, we'll forget that password. But when a situation arises where we'll have to enter that password to connect from a new device for example, we get a bit entangled. But no worries, we can recover our Wi-Fi password by using a simple command in the command prompt. So just type netsh and press enter and now in order to know the exact SSID of all the previously connected Wi-Fi networks, just type wlan followed by space, show followed by space, type profiles and press enter and now you'll get the list of all the user profiles that you were previously connected to. So for example, let me find the password of this network, Redmi. So just type the same thing again, wlan, show profiles and followed by a space, type name equals and type the SSID of the network. So let me type Redmi here and followed by a space, type key equal to clear and press enter and under the key content you can find the password of the network. So this will help you to reconnect to the network without having to reset the router password. So the next command will help you to find the connectivity speed between your computer and another computer in the same Wi-Fi network or between your computer and a router or to a website. So here just type ping followed by space type the address of the thing which you have to connect to maybe another computer, router or website. So just let me type google.com to find the connectivity speed between my computer and the Google servers. So here you can find the number of bytes being transferred, the time being taken and the packets being sent and received so the loss percentage is zero here and the minimum and the maximum times taken. So you might know that you can change to different directories within the C drive in the command prompt by using the change directory, the cd command but you can also change between drives. So for example, if I have to switch to the D drive just type D followed by colon and press enter it will switch to the D drive and similarly for F just press F and colon and it will switch to F drive and you can change to a different folder by using the change directory command. So in order to know about the contents of a directory, the files and folders available in it, you can use the directory command for which type dir and press enter and all the files and folders with the last modified date and time will be available here. And in order to get the same thing in a tree format somewhat in a graphical diagrammatic format, just type the tree command and all the files and folders available under the selected directory will be available in a graphical form. Two hours later. And you can not only view the contents of a directory, you can also make changes to them by editing them. So you can create a directory, delete a directory, create a file, delete a file, or even change the extension and file name of a file. So for example, in order to create a new directory, a new folder, just enter the make directory command that is mkdir followed by space, enter the folder name. So for example, let me enter sample. So here the new sample folder will be created under the D directory. So in order to check that, let me enter the directory command. So it is here, sample. And similarly, in order to remove directory, you can use the remove directory command. And for example, let me delete the same sample folder which I created previously just now. So just type rmdir followed by space and enter the directory name and it will be deleted and in order to check this out let me enter the directory command again and the sample folder is not found now. As I previously mentioned we can also change the file name or extension of a file under the given directory. So these commands will certainly be helpful when batch renaming files with different file names or different extensions. So for example let me show this directory to you. So I have a text file here named code.txt. So let me just change the file name and the extension of this file. For that just type the rename command 
the friend followed by space enter the default file name so it is code.txt which is the previous file name and in order to change the new file name and the extension let me just type text dot I can change the extension here to anything so let me just change it to GIF so it will be reflected back in the directory so here it has been changed to text.gif the name as well as the extension has been changed so you can also rename multiple files by using this command for which just type the same rename command and instead of typing the name just in order to change the extension type star.txt followed by space star dot any extension which you want to change so let me keep it mp4 so when you give like this all the txt files under the given directory will be converted to mp4 files so similarly you can change anything and you can not only just see the output in the command prompt window itself but you can also copy the output to your clipboard for example let me type the directory command so enter the desired command and type a space type a vertical line which is also called the pipe symbol leave a space and type clip so the output of the directory command which I have entered here will be copied to the clipboard automatically so let me show it to you so here is my clipboard so here it is copied so I can just open notepad or any text document and save it to that and similarly you can copy the contents of the output to a text file directly rather than copying it to clipboard and for example let me type the same command again directory and instead of the pipe symbol type a greater than symbol leave a space and enter the file name so if you enter a file name which is previously created in the directory the file contents will be overwritten so if you create a new file name a new file will be created and the output will be copied there so for example let me type help.txt and it will be reflected there so let me just check it out so under the d directory temp folder so a new file is created there that's it and if you want to know all the common commands used in the command prompt window and their usage just type help and all the common commands that are used in the cmd will be displayed here and similarly in order to know about a specific command just type the desired command let me choose netsh leave a space enter a forward slash enter a question mark and press enter and all the details the syntax about the command will be displayed on the screen as an additional tip if you want to know how to customize your command prompt window by changing the default window size font size phone color background color then check out my previous video i'll leave the link for that video from this video so i hope you found this helpful thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed this one do consider subscribing i'm signing off for now